Hello everybody and welcome back. This is ZDS here bringing you part 3? 4? Something of that nature of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play. And in this video I'm going to be continuing on from where I left off. But let me show off my team really fast. I did go ahead and do a little bit of level grinding. It took me about an hour so. I didn't get anybody high that level. Oh, I did catch a Shroomish. I don't remember if I caught it in the last video, but... I'm debating whether or not to use Shroomish as one of my final team members. It is a very good fighting type when it becomes a Breloom. I'm not going to teach it Spore because I already have a Spore user ready to go for when I do the Legendary Captures, so um, we can just not focus on that right now. But I also caught a Silcoon, which is going to be useful against the... <coughs> Oop, sorry about that. It's going to be useful against the second gym because I'm going to be using her to pretty much completely destroy Brawly's entire team, so... That'll be fun. Uh, I don't know what else I caught. I know I caught a Talo. I think. I'm not sure. Let me, let me, let me, I'll get, I'll get back to you on that, guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure from the bottom screen it says, oh, look, there's a Pokemon nearby. Wait a minute, where is it? Fuck. It was something important. It was something I haven't seen yet. I think it was a slack off, maybe. Oh, well. Let's continue onward and head our happy asses to Rustboro. But first, before I do that, let's go ahead and grab some berries. Some Orin berries. Some Chera berries. And some Petra berries. Very, very useful. And if you guys don't know from Pokemon Emerald, um, you guys can go in this uh, little house right here. Oops, I'm sitting in a chair. Uh, and talk to this young lady, I believe, and she... I'm th yep, she will give you the Whalmer Pail. That is essential to growing berries, uh, and since Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire don't have that internal battery issue that Generation 3 has, you can actually grow berries no matter what. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grass here and grab a Pokeball right here. Pardon any background noise you might hear. My neighbors are being loud again. I'm also going to grab a... Super potion somewhere? Another super potion somewhere. Maybe it's right here. Yep, right here. Grab a super potion real quick. And grab this X attack. Not exactly a useful item, but I do like using X items when it comes to fighting the Elite Four. I think it's kind of fun to use them. Alright, let's continue onward. Head up to this guy right here who was gonna battle us. Or no, that's a lady. Hello, lady. Lady Cindy. You and your zigzagoon. I need to get Thief on someone and rebattle these guys so that I can steal their nuggets. Unfortunately, unlike in Generation 3, Thief is a physical attack in Generation 6. Which kind of blows, but... Oh, right, I forgot. I turned off battle animations. I do that when I'm level grinding because it makes it easier for me to, like, do it quickly. This thing's level 10, too. Holy crap. Oh, really? Come on. Don't taunt me like that, you stupid raccoon. Holy cannoli. Uh, that was bad. Let's swap out for... Kip of Mud. I will be evolving Mud Kip into Marsh Tomp before I face the gym leader, probably. Hopefully. I don't know yet. Okay, water gun to the face. Blah, blah, blah. 120 XP. Shroomish levels up to 11. Poochiana to 10. And Learning Bite. Zigzagoon to 10. Jesus. Everyone's leveling up today. Except Rawls. And Silcoon. Silcoon evolves at level 10, by the way, so. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up my Rawls real quick. Because there's another battle we can do before we get to Rustboro. Well, there's two more battles we can do. I'm just gonna, just gonna go ahead and battle this girl right here. Can I just say, once again, I love my 3DS capture card. <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure I've said it in one of the previous episodes, but you guys have no idea how much I love this thing, because I've waited years to have a job. To Well, not waited years to have a job. I've been searching for a job for years until I got my job, but waited years to actually, you know, make this work and get a capture card and record 3DS footage without a f***ing camera. 
Okay, we're gonna go with Puciana on this one. Since Puciana has Fire Fang for the Shroomish. I also noticed that my Puciana is a calm nature, which kind of sucks because it's not physically attacking. They're not physically uh, offensive. Not not strong in physical attack, whatever I'm saying. But thankfully, Fire Fang is super effective, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna keep battle animations off for normal trainers and then turn them on for gym leaders. It just makes the battles go by faster. And now to get a Beautifly. What? Silcoon is evolving? From a motionless cocoon into a beautiful butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly! Sorry, too much. <laughs> Beautifly. I love Beautifly. I don't care how weak it is. I've always liked it ever since I saw the anime with Mei. Anime. Get it? <laughs> Funny joke? No? Nobody? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Actually, I'm gonna turn battle animations back on, because I'm pretty sure you guys like to see those on. Okay. We're gonna come back here and get that cut bush later on, after we get cut and uh, defeat the first gym leader. Which I probably won't do in this video, considering how long this is taking me. So many trainers! Actually, there's only three on this route, but still. Ralts and Shroomish, go. Uh, disarming voice. And tackle. Uh-oh. Gonna have to get rid of C-Dot quickly now. Why does everything always target my Ralts? C dot dead tackle C dot. I'm not letting that thing use its bide. Tackle and dead. Perfect. Stop attacking my poor little Rolfs. Drain? Of course I do. Absorb goodbye. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Not very good. Oh, it's stuttering. Ugh. That's not good. I set the priority to high, so I don't know why it's stuttering. Wait, no, I'm gonna switch Shroomish out for Beautifly. Let's check her stats real quick. Not bad. Pretty good attacking stats and nice speed. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and grab us some berries. Four orange berries. Damn, these, this. Early parts of the game are just throwing berries at me, aren't they? And I think these are leopard berries. No, cherry berries. What happened to these being leopard berries? Damn, fucking eight orange berries from one little bush. Well, two little bushes. Let's battle you next. Fisherman Ivan. Magic Carp. Carp, 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 carp. Since I've already got Mudkip, I'm not going to be using Gyarados, although Gyarados is much better in Generation 6 than it is in Generation 3. Plus, I used, you know. I used it in Generation 3 in Emerald, so... Level 12. Beautiful! Ralts is definitely the best Pokémon in the game to go up against the Fighting-type Gym Leader. Well, that and... Well, her, Dustox, and Beautifly are best, because all three of them are four-time resistance to Fighting-type moves. But unlike, uh... 
Beautifly, who's weak to rock type moves, and Dustox, who's weak to psychic type moves. Rolfs is not weak to either one. Only weaknesses Rolfs has are Ghost, Poison, and uh, Steel type moves. Not sure why they made Gardevoir have Fairy type, but I'm not going to complain. I love Fairy type Pokemon. Plus, it finally gives Gardevoir an advantage over Gallade, which it hasn't had since Generation 3 or 4. Actually, I don't think it ever had an advantage over Gallade, really. Gallade was the same speed, but it had better distributed stats. It had, well, not better distributed stats. It had a much better move pool than Gardevoir does. Plus, it got access to the elemental punches that Gardevoir sadly lost when Generation 4 came out, because the physical special slit put the elemental punches onto the physical side, which pretty much made Gardevoir's use of them obsolete. Oh, hi, eh? So you made it here to Rustboro, too, Zodarus. Yes, it's a big town. We get it. Little Root can't even compare. Oh, and Zodarus, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. See, the only thing I don't really like about this game is that it's a little bit too handholdy. I did like... I mean, I don't dislike Generation 6. I mean, far from it. I love Gen 6. But... I think I like Generation 3 just a little tiny bit more. Like, I like Emerald a little bit more than I like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, although Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are objectively better games. Simply because Emerald wasn't so handholdy. But anyway, guys, we got a lot to do here. Well, not a lot to do, but we got some things to do here in Rust Pro City, but I'm going to save that until the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon and my Twitter are in the description down below. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will check you guys in the next video.